We need a good start. Uh, we've seen what a good start does. It puts teams under pressure. Um, South Africa's strength is still, I still feel, is that middle order. Um, so the earlier we expose, if we lose three quick wickets, we are in trouble, even though we've seen towards the latter parts, guys like Ryan McLaren can come in and, and, and do a job. But we need them to play with a little bit of more freedom. We need guys to play a bit of cameos towards the end. Um, so I still think that um, Hashim Amla and Colin Ingram's partnership up front will be crucial, um, especially you know, James Anderson. James Anderson with that new ball is, is a vital key for the English. So I think that, that top four, if they can bet through the innings, um, will give South Africa a good chance. Um, Bowling-wise, um, Delstein is always a factor because I always like the fact that he can bowl. The quicker he bowls for, for me, when I see him run in, he sets the tone up front and he's well supported by... Um, by Lopsy, you know, with, with, with Lonoabo with that new ball because Lonoabo will swing it. Um, he will put people under pressure and people will want to take him on. And that's how he, he's, he's very skillful. So he gets a lot of wickets up front there. I'm happy with the fact that we've missed Sri Lanka. The fact that we've drawn, um, look, it was either going to be England or, or New Zealand, but we're getting England and we're getting them at, at home turf. It's not a bad draw. We have a good chance um, of beating them. Um, you know, they, they're a bit of an unpredictable team. And when I say about unpredictable, it's, it's when the tournament started. You know, everybody could beat everybody on in Group A. Um, they're very inconsistent teams. Uh, you know, they're high heavily in the betting department. They have, rely heavily on on Alistair Cook, the captain, Ian Bell, and also Jonathan Trott. You know, if those three go quite quickly, if you come into their middle order, it's a very inexperienced middle order. I really, really think they can, and and, and um, you know, and I, I think that the first hurdle is to beat England, um, and we need to beat England um, tomorrow. Um, if we do beat England, um, if we do, I think India is such a strong team, and they've shown that they are a powerhouse with uh, with that betting with that betting lineup. But I still think that um, their bowling is not that strong. So um, I think if South Africa can qualify tomorrow and get India into the final, I think we we can win um, because there were tactical things that we did wrong against them in that opening game of of the tournament, um, and I'm sure. We've seen a much improved improved bowling effort uh, from the bowlers, so I think we can. Uh, we've gone into this tournament with with a very young team and not a lot of expectations from them. You know, uh, we've always had this star-studded team where it's a lot of experience and and we are expected to win. You know, they're very ambitious. They want to do well. Some of them are are, are fighting for for a position in, in, into the into that senior national team. They want to set themselves up. Um, so there's a fairly youngish guys in that team that really need to step up. And they've done so well. Right? They, they, they haven't started that well against India, which I think um, was one or two things. We should have beaten England, in India on, on that wicket. A lot of people throw this name, Jack Callas, around. Jack Callas hasn't played for South Africa and ODI since the, last year, February, you know. Um, so, so I think I think the fact that it just shows you these guys are guys that are are doing well in domestic cricket. I mean, there's guys that have really have had um, good tournaments, um, the One Day Cups and the T20 competitions. They've they really performed in the last three years, so they bring a lot of confidence into it. Whether it is time, yes, um, I think sadly so. I think um, Jack Callas has done superbly throughout the years, but you know there is a time where we need to restructure and and, and um, and start building another team, you know, and uh, and start thinking with future without Jai Callas because he's not going to play forever. And and the, the, the sooner we start doing that, the better it will be for South Africa's future and for South African cricket.